All right, this is part of converting the rigid bot from the stock AIP board to the to ramps 1.4. You've obviously seen my other video on converting it to 24 volts, so I'm going to continue on with this. So, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to grab all the push pins that came with your rigid bot uh, that came with your ramps board, these little guys right here. We're going to grab all those. I put the spare ones over here. Just because they're not doing anything and I lose things, so I'll just leave it on the board. But you're going to put them all in to all the locations. Uh, what these are going to do, these are going to set 4 micro steps, 8 micro steps, 16 micro stepping. The original IAP board ran 16 micro stepping on everywhere, but the Y axis and the extruders. So we're actually upgrading it to the 16 micro stepping. It'll be a little bit more precise. If you don't want to, you can pull one out, leave it at the eight, eight micro stepping, and all you have to do at that point is copy your original settings that you had in your firmware right to the board for all your stepper measurements, and you're all set to go. Otherwise, if you are converting to the 16 micro stepping, you're gonna have to double the micro, the steps, the e steps on the extruders, and you're gonna have to double the e steps on the y axis. Plug them all in. You're going to grab your stepper drivers, pots facing towards the rear of the board, the front of the board being where the power is. You're going to put them all into their selective spots. I happen to have a dual extruder, so I'll be using all five of my spots. You, can, uh, you don't have to use all five if you only have one extruder. You obviously need a minimum of four because you need three axes plus one extruder. So, there we go. When you guys, as you start using your board, after you have your firmware flash on the Arduino, and you think you got your settings all set, um, you will have to adjust these until you find that sweet little spot where it's not too hot and it's not skipping. You can adjust the pots later. At this point, your extruders plug right in directly. No need to change anything. Your axes plug right in. Your double Zs right here. Plugs right in, no need to change wiring, no need to change anything. I have my bye-bye board ready, already soldered. Actually, I got one of each, just in case I blow something up. I always have a spare to keep myself running, even if it's only on one extruder. But I have my bye-bye board, board sitting right here. The PDF to how to wire this guy to this guy is going to be in the link in the description. Otherwise, the only other thing you're going to need to plug into, I have some... Beautiful, handy, leftover from another project. Um, jumper wires, right here. You're going to use these. I am using these because the end stops are going to be in the first, third, and fifth location. The upper two pins for each location, for each axis. And I am going to be plugging them in like this into each slot and then the other ends will be being plugged into the original wire that came from AIP that way I don't have to cut and splice anything but there you go there's the beginning of it as I go along and do this I'll record more videos on how it works and how it's doing the only thing I will say if I haven't gotten to it yet make sure that the wire that is coming from the ramps to the bye bye board for the heated bed is a minimum of 16 gauge, but you want to use 14 gauge. You will burn stuff down otherwise. Okay? So, hopefully I'll get another video out pretty soon as I complete this and get closer and closer. Any questions, leave them out in the comments. I'll try to help.